Hello friends and welcome to Asheville, North Carolina, or like some of us call it beer heaven. I'm here to try out the five best breweries in Asheville. Now, a lot of you may dispute these decisions on these breweries, but they're the five best to me and I've asked a couple locals. As soon as I pulled into Asheville, I saw a parking sign. I thought, well, let me just park there and get my bearings. And it was right here in front of Molly and I can't remember the other ladies name, but in front of the Keller Williams uh, location here. It's easy parking and you can walk to all of these breweries on this list today. The first one is Highwire. Never been here. Let's go check it out. If you're looking to buy a house in Asheville, this is probably the place to go to get some help because they're giving out free champagne to anyone who bought a house from them this year. It's awesome. Friends have never seen a system like this before. The esteem system? Busy in here, so I didn't want to bother them and ask them a lot of questions about this. But it looks like their fermenters are just sideways. But maybe there's something special about it. I don't know, but they have a really cool setup back here. Check this out. Very cool. How I'm making this decision on the five best are how close they are in proximity. Because really, if you come to Asheville, you don't want to drive all over if you're drinking beer. So I wanted to pick things that were very close to each other ones that had great beer, which is not hard to find in this town, and the ambience as well. And of course, it does help when the bartenders are really cool and agreeable. This one here, Highwire, she's very nice. Highwire was great beer. I only had one beer. It was a lager. It's one of their staple beers, but it's an excellent beer. It's pretty cold out here in Nashville. I do like my hat. My friend made this for me. I love this thing, it's very warm. The next stop is going to be the Funkatorium. It's a place that's owned by Wicked Weed. They specialize in sour beers, which I love. I can't drink too many sour beers because it gives me heartburn now, but they have amazing beers there. Let's go try one. Hey, well, I might regret this later, but I got a flight of four beers, maybe five of sours and it's a limited release sours ones that you can't get anywhere else i thought i would just try it since i'm here you know, it's the funkatorium you gotta get sours while you're at the funkatorium it's fun to say funkatorium left to right will be top down so that's with pineapple jalapeno that one's gonna be uh Prisique, which is gonna be a uh, sour peaches okay uh that'll be a sour cherry at the end and then the last one will be the blackberry sour. all right okay. let's go for it Amazing. Out of all four of these, cherry is my favorite. And I knew that was going to be the case. Cherry is my favorite food of all time. Aside from pistachios. Funkatorium has this really nice outdoor seating space. And you have this indoor area. It used to be open bar, it looks like, but now it's just a nice indoor space. You cannot go wrong here in the Punctorium. There's so many good beers, and as I said, they specialize in sours. They got some really rare stuff, and you just can't beat it. It's sleeting, or hail, or something. I have to swing back by the car, pick up my umbrella, that's okay. I have a little bit of a walk to the next location, even though the last two places we're gonna go are right there. We're gonna save the best for last. I'm passing a lot of breweries on my walk to the next location. From my understanding, St. Petersburg, Florida, Portland, Oregon, and Asheville have more breweries per capita than any other three cities in the United States. I've spent some time in New York City, specifically in Tribeca, Soho. This reminds me a lot of that part of New York City. It could be the weather too, it's a little chilly. Times of year I've been there, it's been about like this, but Asheville's a really cool town. Next stop, Dissolver.
smells so good in here. Like they're brewing right now. It's amazing. There's so many choices on this menu. I don't know which one. I'm gonna have to ask for some advice. Got some advice. Short spear is what I'm having. Unknown beast. All right. Thanks. Let's see what this Schwartz beer is like. Excellent beer. Wow. It's not just excellent beer here. They have some really nice merchandise too. They got the super, super soft shirts for sale. They got some hats and stickers and things, of course, like most breweries do. They have some art for sale. View from the back of the brewery is interesting. You're right in their space. Silver has a really nice tasting room. It's pretty large, and they have an outdoor area too. And they got some heaters out there for the cold days like today. The walk from downtown Asheville to where our last two stops are is pretty nice. It's only about a 10 to 15 minute walk, and you pass a lot of cool things. It's about seven o'clock at night and most of the businesses are still open around here so you can wander around if you'd like. Next up, Green Man. This is one of my favorite breweries of all time. All right. I'm getting a porter you can't get anywhere else. Sir. Mm. I love porters and stouts. Porters are my favorite currently. Oh, this is so good. It's so good. I'm sorry, friends. Unless you come here, you cannot try this drink. Just take my word for it, okay? This is an awesome place. Their tasting room is really nice downstairs, but there's also an upstairs tasting room. Let's go see what that's like. their floor it's all pennies <laughs> cool nice. got a rock stacking area I've never seen this in my life <laughs> pretty good at all <laughs> oh. did I make you nervous <laughs> <laughs> you're making me so nervous man it's like putting the star on the tree <laughs> They have quite the setup here in Green Man. This is neat to see a bird's eye perspective of their brewing facility. Yeah, quite the canning system here as well. An outside seating area. Check out these cool chairs in the tasting room. Sweet. Brewery hopping and hanging is one of my favorite things to do, especially in a city like Asheville. This place is awesome. Friends, if you love beer like me, make your way to Green Man. This place makes some of the best beers you could possibly get. I love these old spools of wire out here for tables. Cool. It's a big one. Right next door to the Green Man Brewery we just went in is Dirty Jack's. It's the original location. Green Man Brewing. Pretty small bar. Just across the street and around the corner is our last destination. What looks like kind of a sketchy alley is actually the home of probably the best beer in the entire country. Burial. Friends, I cannot believe we're here. This is one of my favorite breweries of all time. I'm very glad that you're here with me. Let's go in.
Friends, there's so many good beers here. I don't even know what to choose. <laughs> Look at their menu. Surf Wax has been one of my favorites for a long time. They have so many good beers. So I hear that there's a very rare beer on tap and I'm gonna get it. The Velvet Magnum, please. Yeah, yeah. Would you like an eight ounce or a four ounce? Eight ounce. I love it. Just cause it's higher octane, of course. I got the very rare Magnum number five. It's a collab with Varial and the other half out of Brooklyn, New York. Can't get this one anywhere either. This is one of the best beers I've ever had in my life. It's so good. Wow. There's where they do all the brewing. Out back is a bigger bar. There's seating out here. My well, friends, I have a rule. If I'm making a video, I only drink two beers, and that's it. But Tonight, I'm having five beers. I'm going to the five best places in Asheville, in my opinion. And I'm gonna need some food. They have some good food here, it looks like. This is the land of fly fishing, and I assume that rainbow trout is a part of that. So I'm gonna go with the local favorite, the rainbow trout. My food is ready. Trout sandwich. The sandwich is amazing, their fries are really good, and the beer is the best in town. Friends, Burial is definitely the best beer that I've had in Asheville, in the best beer city, aside from St. Petersburg, Florida, of course, in the country. I appreciate you joining me on all these adventures, friends. If you like what you're seeing, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.